Hey y'all, how's it going everybody? How's it going YouTube? YouTube, Sparky Marky Mark here and I'm back to do a, a review and unboxing, but right now, what do I have in here? I mean, the package is well thought out, yes, but my bot, what the hell? There's nothing in here. Simply empty. Oh, what the hell? Did I got ripped off? Wait a minute. It's not. <laughs> Well, wait a minute. Let's go to the man cave. Like, right now. Alrighty. Before we get to the watch, we're going to be looking at the history of Hellbros. Now, Hellbros was an American company, a watch, American watch company, around the 1900s. And, and of course, obviously, it was 1913. The business was very successful through the mid-century because of its successful product placements, marketing, and the usually res reasonable price of it in the secondary market. So founded in 1913, the Hellebine the brothers, one of them was William Hellebine, served as the watch company, as the company's president for many years, for many years migrated to the USA from Russia and became an American citizen by, in, by the year 1916. Began his career as a diamond importer, following his father's footsteps, but later learned the craft of watch assembling, assemblination, whatever. So yeah, around the 1920s, Hellbros was widely advertised through um, advertising their watches and print-based publications, papers, ads, whatever, even moved into radios and televisions advertising the made, the made and special promotions of, for watch, for the watches, for lodges and other groups. Hellsboro watches were also offered as a sale in sensitives and pr um, premiums. And the efforts led an incredible brand recognition. And during the mid-century, a couple distance watch lines, and then one was sold to the door to door, and through jewelers around the around the states, and other markets via catalogs, via catalogs, hmm, that be on magazines or articles, discount stores, and f former supposedly high quality in the to the to the then latter. And wow, even there were pocket watches before it and became watches and then hmm, more and more. And then, oh, look at that, collaboration with Mickey Mouse. M-I-C-K-E-Y-M-O-U-S-E. -E. Anybody remember that song? Let me know. So yeah, they did very, very well, even for the women. Hmm, very high quality. And look at this, various marks of Hellsbro. The one that looks like a train and Hellsboro Watch Co., Hellsboro Quartz, Hellsboro 17 Jewelers, Hellsboro with an H, different signatures. So yeah. So unfortunately over the years, the company was doing great for themselves, but then somehow they started going collapsing by that point. And by that point is by the 70, by 19, on, on August of 1963 in the summer, Elegant Watch Company C, uh, CEO announced the acquisition to the Hellsboro Watch Company by Henry M. Margolis. Hellsboro will, op will operate as a division of Elegant with Larry Prozing remaining as president of the company. And of course, the, the trade registry, the trademark for Hellsboro, was assigned to the Elgin Wa National Watch Company by the year 1968, and apparently was reassigned re back to Hellsboro Watch Inc. Incorporate, Incorporate, in 1974. There was another, there's another trademark listed for Hellsboro Regency, or which was registered in 1947 by Hellsboro Watch Incorporated, and then was assigned to Elgin in 1968, and then by 1974, the last registration linked to Hellsboro Watch was in 1991. It was canceled seven years later in 1998. 
all the old registry house bros died weren't renewed or were cancelled by 91 or 98 and 1991 1998 with the exceptions of the recognition registration oh, last registration <laughs> for houseboro invincible that one was registered in 1991 but then 21 years later it was it wasn't cancelled by 2000 by 21 years later in 2002 New trademark was registered by Jules Jurgen in 2001, but was abandoned. And another registrate registered happened in 2001 again by Jules 2005 again by Jules Jur Jules Jurgensen Jules Jurgensen, and is the only one. Live rec rec registration system. So yeah, here's one of those. And what I was surprised to learn more about Hellsbro is that. Um, in Talking Watches with Houdinki, with actor, producer, and director named Fred, Sa Fred Savage, you might know him at, in The Wonder Years as Kevin Arnold and did other projects. He's a big watch collector, and one of those is a Hellsboro watch, with, which is, of course, an automatic analog alarm. Like, wow. I'll leave you the link in the description box down below for it, for his video. So, yeah. And unfortunately, by the by the by the mid by the late ninety by the early nineties, Hellsboro died. So next year will mark one hundred and ten years since that company was around. So, anyways, let's review the watch, like now. Give it a moment. Here I'm showing you Hellsboro watches for women. Here's for the males, for the men, that is. Mm -hmm. And of course, you can't forget analog alarm. I believe this is one of those. Very old, for circa in the 1950s, early 60s, possibly 1958 to 1960, or 61, that is. Ah, here it is. Yes. This is the one you're going to be seeing in the. It's in a different band, but Fred Savage has one like this. So, yeah. I'm not showing you the details and such. Let's go to the watch. Alrighty. Here it is, everybody. How's bro? Since 1913. Again, this is like rare. It was 28 bucks when I bought it off of eBay. So yeah, five year warranty, quartz accurate. Voila, here it is. Hell's Bros. Since 1913. Right now it's 109 years since it went bye bye. Well, it's been 109 years, but heck, it's been a few some years since it went bye bye. This is analog and digital. Let's see some details, shall we? Searching from the suggestions. Okay, this is a. Um, Mm -hmm. You can adjust, press it, stop, and then, okay. There. And then back. No new details. You can, Also, you could adjust your seconds. This one, you could also adjust your, um, the seconds or the hour. hour. Actually, the hours and the minutes. And it's made with some cheap-esque looking steel bracelet, but again, that's what Hasbro was at its days. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. 
This is how it looked all those years ago. Mm -hmm. And with that, let's bring in my caterpillar. Did I say caterpillars? No, ladies and gentlemen. Bring in the caliber. Mm -hmm. Now, let's see what is the size of this watch. Okay, for now, let's measure the, mm -hmm, the diameter. Okay, 40, 42 millimeters. Pay attention, folks. Oh, okay, good. Alrighty, thickness wise for the watch, thickness is 0 0.49. Hmm, is it? The heck? Possible. Okay, let's see how we, oh, now we got it. So thickness-wise, the watch is about 12.4 millimeters. The tips, lug tip, or the bezel size would be around approximately. Hold it. Okay. So the thickness is about 45.7 millimeters. So yeah, so the feel of it is cheap. I got a little message from Eric Wynn. So shout outs to Eric Wynn of Houdinki. Shout outs to you, my man. He told me that this is a cheap watch. Even from way back, it was five bucks because of, again, the quality in that time period of its days. So yeah, Houseboard was still in business in the, in, the, in the 80s at the time, even in the 70s, if you will. Again, digital and analog at the time, being that it was a that it was becoming its own thing. Hmm. Okay, let's see here. Hold on a minute, folks. Hmm. Okay, I'm just gonna show you how I did it. This is how it would look my list but I'm not going to adjust it or do anything to the watch because on account of this is a classic piece it's a Hellsboro brand it's been around for many years and all in all it's a good time piece to have in your collection if anybody's a big enthusiast of watches and let's take a look at the back oh yeah uh-huh uh -huh, uh -huh. let's see that right here folks Ellsboro signature. Look at that, folks. It says it right there. Movement as Japanese movement, yes. Look at it one more time. Ellsboro signature. Alrighty. Just leaving a nice, good close up to this watch. Good close up. So, yeah, tell me, folks, is anybody ever heard of the name Hasbro? Hmm? Tell me, and let me know in the description box. Especially, does anyone have their own Hasbro? I know one of the other dudes has their own, but it's the one you've seen in the photos. And very good ones. And I'll leave you, like I said, to um, Houdinki talking watches with Brad Savage. He's got a Hasbro. The vintage look looks spectacular. Even, of course, uh, no indication. I mean, they've been around for many years, and heck can't deny the watch that's the one thing you can't deny about it one more look all righty well, anyways no chit chat music time with hell's bro like now all righty so enjoy the music from 1986 with John Cooker Mellencamp with the hit song R-O-C-K in the USA. Enjoy, folks.
Well, folks, what do you think? You enjoy the music? You enjoy the review of this watch? If you like contact like this or any other contact in the videos, click the bell and the subscribe button to be notified of all new uploads, even with updates on pre, even with pre-orders from Indiegogo or any other site. And like I said already, link is in the description box down below. That's right, down below. And anything else more? Hmm. So yeah, on the previous video, I forgot to mention on the Return of the Living Dead bundle from Screen Factory. Um, I forgot to mention something. Um, we lost um, Cool Cooligar, that C L U Cooligar, um, who of course we know that scene here in A Nightmare on Elm Street Two, Freddy's Revenge. He played the dad in that movie, and he was Mr. Wilson or Bert Wilson in The Return of the Living Dead. He was a great actor, character actor. I was really shocking here about about two months ago. Was it a month ago? No, it was two months ago. We heard he had passed. So yeah, what was bothering me about that about the four K is that they didn't pay Casty Kuchubis to both James Karen and Cool Cooligar. James Karen passed on in to about three years ago, and Cool Cooligar just passed on recently. And next month, October. I mean, this year, this month of uh, November, actually. <laughs> This month in November, we we lost him. I mean, this month in November, he would have been 94. But he passed on at 93. So it was about actually three months ago. Sorry. <laughs> it was three months ago. What am I saying? Anyways, y'all. Uh, so anyways, y'all. This is Sparky Marky Mark. Signing up, y'all. Take care. God bless you. Welcome to November. Signing off, y'all. Be safe. Take care. God bless you. Catch you on the next vid.